when you fly into Costa Rica, you usually land in Juan Santa Maria International Airport. So the story behind Juan Santa Maria is that he is the soul of Costa Rican independence. He was part of this little army that tried to repel Tennessee pro-slavery advocate William Walker, who had already invaded the neighboring Nicaragua and was moving down the coast. A doctor turned adventurer, Walker hoped to lead a mercenary conquest of Central America and make the whole region pro-slavery. Santa Maria was a drummer boy from Alajuela in the Costa Rican forces. He volunteered to set fire to a wood fort where Walker's army was holed up. He lit it up but later was shot to death. Walker's forces retreated north after a 14-minute fight. Santa Maria is depicted gripping a torch, as you can see in these pictures, charging into possible death. Below the statue are two small cannons at an elevated stage. Colorful noisy parrots fly around the trees and old buildings by the park. A shoeshine guy is doing brisk business, lovers stroll, old men read newspapers. There are several nice parks in this area of Alojuela, but this is the only one celebrating the local hero. Could he have known that an international airport would later be named in his honor? After our excursion throughout the city, Gloria, our friend from Costa Rica, took us to this local restaurant to try out the world famous Gallo Pinto. Gallo Pinto is actually vegetarian. It's just rice and beans mixed with this amazing tomato sauce. And then there's scrambled eggs, sour cream, a block of uh, cottage cheese or paneer, uh, fried plantain, and tortillas. After our city touring, we actually rented a car from National Rental and drove ourselves roughly about a four hour drive to the west coast of Guanacaste and had booked a hotel at Conchal Hotel. Hi, Veron. 
how do you feel about Costa Rica so far? Costa Rica is pretty relaxing and the people here are pretty nice and like we're pretty at helpful. Indira Bar. And there's an Indira Bar here since 1963. I think actually I came to this beach maybe. Don't even remember. Alright, here are the beaches. Conchal. Brasilito. So and let's a few check it out. Do you want to go down this road? Oh yeah, we have to get around that little cliff. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a passageway inside. Okay, so, uh, hope so. You cannot go through there. No, yeah, go or <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but that beach looks really beautiful. That's where the western. Hi, this is Playa Conchal. This is a beautiful beach, not many people here. We've been here since morning and it's very peaceful and very calm. Very turquoise. It's beautiful, beautiful. We're just outside the Westin, uh, so it's like a barricaded area so that not many people can come. But as you can see, since it's almost noon, a lot of people here. You can see that there's sunlight there, which is beautiful, and we are under the shade. Sun's kind of like hidden, it's not coming out. Fighting its way. Yeah, look, look there, there's sunlight there. Yeah.